never be far from the weather on this uh, very difficult morning in terms of the drive. The man accused of shooting a Marion County Sheriff's deputy is due in court this morning. He and another teenager are facing several charges in the case. News 8's Brenna Donnelly is live downtown to explain. Well, yes, in court today, we are talking about an attempted murder charge. So that could mean decades to just a couple of years in prison for one of these individuals if he's convicted. The Marion County Prosecutor's Office released those charges. 17-year-old uh, Brandon Nickens is charged with attempted murder and attempted robbery, resulting in serious bodily injury. 18-year-old Javante Chapman is charged as well with attempted robbery, resulting in serious bodily injury and battery by means of a deadly weapon. Now, with those charges, we're getting a clearer picture of what happened early Saturday morning at the IHOP on 38th Street near 465. Investigators say Marion County Sheriff Sergeant David Clemens and Deputy Antoine Norris were off duty at the IHOP. Police say the two teens came in to rob the restaurant and one got in a shootout with the deputies. Police say Nickens was the one who shot Sergeant Clemens in the leg. Deputy Norris was uninjured. Nickens was found nearby at a Chili's restaurant bleeding from the face. An arrest affidavit I went through this morning states that Nickens told Chili staff he was shot and needed to go home, but he was taken to the hospital and arrested there. Now, during questioning, investigators say Nickens admitted to the robbery and said he did it in order to help his family. Investigators also say Chapman said he assisted in the robbery and said it was due to peer pressure. However, Chapman ran out of the restaurant as soon as he saw the deputies in the store, according to that arrest affidavit. Sergeant Clemens, on the other hand, he was released from the hospital hours after the shooting and is reportedly in good spirits. Now, as for what's happening today, Brandon Nickens is expected to appear in court for an initial hearing. That's happening at 8.30 this morning. We'll also hear from Javante Chapman, but he isn't expected in court until January 15th. We'll be sure to update you on what happens in those courtrooms as soon as that becomes available. Live downtown, I'm Brenna Donnelly, Wish TV News 8. Okay, Brenna, thank you for that update. Happening today.